When it comes to dealing the highest raw damage in Terraria, a few weapons come straight to mind. Could it be the legendary Zenith maybe? Or the iconic Meow Mare? Or what about the devastating Sniper Rifle? And while these are all pretty obvious choices for dealing big damage, what if I told you that was in fact another much smaller weapon that could deal damage in the same ballpark as these late game beasts? Of course I'm talking about the Psycho Knife. The Psycho Knife is one of those weapons that functions unlike anything else in the game, and so today we're going to be seeing just how insane things can get. Okay then, let's see how you get this thing. This may come as a shock, but the Psycho Knife is actually dropped from the Psycho Enemy found during post Pantera Solar Eclipses. To summon an Eclipse, you could either rely on a 1 in 20 chance of it occurring naturally at 4.30am, or summon one artificially by heading to your Lizard Temple and farming enough Solar Tablet Fragments to craft a Solar Tablet at an Anvil. However you get your Solar Eclipse up and running, as mentioned, you're going to want to be on the lookout for Psychers, which have a 4.94% chance of dropping the knife. Your best way to go about this is honestly using a solid crowd control weapon like the Terra Blade, or if you can get one from Pontera, the Seedler, which is an excellent choice for this event. Also, if you manage to get your hands on the Scourge of the Corruptor, this can make the whole event pretty brainless, requiring you to only really hold down the attack button and hope. Okay, whichever way you did go about it, it shouldn't take you too long to get the knife to drop. So let's see what it can do, shall we? On the surface, the Psycho Knife appears to be a pretty bogger standard true melee weapon with high damage but little range. Ironically, the knife actually has the same base damage as the Terror Blade, but of course with ludicrously higher attack speed, meaning technically speaking, with a bit of skill, this thing on paper can outperform most melee weapons at this stage in progression, reaching thousands of DPS with ease. And this isn't even taking into consideration its main attraction, the trick that makes this weapon so unique. Yes, stealth mode. One of you stands still for about one second, your character will go invisible and buff your melee stats by, brace yourselves, a whopping 300% damage, 30% crit chance and 100% knockback. As you can see, this equates to some pretty funny numbers and when mousing over weapons like the Meow Meow, can read some quite hysterical damage outputs. Unfortunately though, as you can see, you can only really use the Psycho Knife with these buffs though and doesn't carry over on any other weapons. So I mean at this point, it seems only fair to see just how much damage we can actually do with this thing. With an absolutely maxed out damage build using all menacing accessories and other melee damage buffs, we can get the knife dealing a humorous 561 damage while in stealth mode. And remember, this is a weapon that can attack insanely fast, so as you'd expect, the single target delivery is quite something, being able to deal upwards of 5000 DPS on a single target. This means that in practice, it's able to take out bosses like Plantara hilariously quickly, to the point where I was even able to face tank the damage without even much defense. And the funniest thing about this weapon is, you can always go the attack speed angle instead, which can make it even more effective in some scenarios, allowing you to take out bosses like the Cultist incredibly quickly. Again though, to get the most out of this weapon, you really need the skill to control your character very carefully, which, well, I'm not very good at. So I guess, take what you see here with a pinch of salt. And this actually leads me on to the drawbacks of this weapon though. You see, despite the potential this weapon unlocked post endgame, while it may be a blast to use, I can't imagine anyone actually using it for when you can obtain it. Like, even with the best mobility in the world, I really doubt anyone's going to be taking out Duke Fish from this thing anytime soon. But if you're able to do that, I would actually love to see it. So yeah, the Psycho Knife, surprisingly one of the most damaging weapons in all of Terraria. It might even be the only way to breach the 1000 damage mark on some weapons. And shh, I know it's only visual, but it's still awesome to see. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.